Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm going to take you uh, on a tour of my city called Alexandria, named after me. My name is Alex, Alexandros, and um, yeah, let's see, let's start. Okay, we're going to give it some time to load. Okay, so this is only, I think, the second time I'm playing this game. Uh, I played this game during the first COVID lockdown in 2020 it came out in 2019 and uh, I only played about 50 hours back then and uh, this is my second attempt that it didn't start very well and uh, I thought I was losing um, but then I had to make some changes and research best way to make money best way to maintain your income and uh, I figured out some some tricks uh, which most of you might know already but uh, this is only the second time I'm trying this game and um, I think I'm doing pretty well right now compared to my original video and uh, yeah let's see how it starts set sail okay so I think this is the new world already uh, we made some um, uh, colonial expansion and let's go back to the old world just to yeah okay okay so this is the city and right so we have some of, of our fleet here and uh, yeah so principles so we have a carnival going on this increases our income and the happiness at the moment so everything is kind of inflated uh, okay with the ships okay uh, if you know how to stop these notifications all the time with the ships being under attack uh, please do let me know but uh, what we managed to do is we managed to progress the game we managed to develop and upgrade the, uh, the houses and now we have all sorts of farmers we have the uh, workers artisans and the engineers now they're so needy actually uh, they're very well designed and uh, yeah okay so let's do the basics so I split the city into the main living part right as you can see from a bird's eye view top down then we have the cultural area down here. We have the depot and all the um, port facilities and the um, incoming um, income attack. over there. And then to the left, as you might have seen already in other games, in other uh, stages, in other levels, this is kind of the industrial area. This used to be all the way to the north up here, but I moved that. Uh, because we have the oil springs right here, we have the coal mines, which I'm actually not using at the moment because I had some trouble figuring out how to lay paved roads over trucks, but that's fine. Uh, I will figure it out later because I did it in the city, but not here. So our industrial area over here, so we have all sorts of types of um, uh, factories. Right. We, we have the uh, motor assembly line, which will be needed later on into the game. I don't need it right now. Uh, oh, this produces uh, reinforced steel, steel beams. Right, so the guns. Right, so all the infrastructure, the heavy machinery is here, the heavy machinery. And also all of these are now powered by electricity. This oil power plant provides electricity throughout the uh, east part of the city and our industrial area. Not all of it, but most of it, and uh, I wanted to have a fine balance between industrial area, uh, electrification, and the part of the city. Although these um, workers and artisans do not need electricity, but we're planning to expand heavily. And uh, it covers the center part of the city, and I have another one, another power plant up here. Yeah, okay. Right, so this one, this power plant, electrifies the other part of the city and connects into the grid. And all of them, con um, they cover all the domestic and housing uh, facilities that we need and some of the industry that is food related, right? So anything machine and iron related is on the east, then anything food related is on the north. So here we can find our farms, we can find our cotton, uh, our wheat and the production, and then we can do the canneries and all that. With someone at your shoulder. Yeah. So, because these are electrified, 
right? They have access to electricity, obviously. Um, the productivity skyrockets, more than doubles. Then you can adjust it yourself, right? Okay, I used to have it on 50% plus. It's not very good, but the goal is here the food that needs to be canned because uh, we have a supply of canned food uh, that is uh, very demanding at the moment. All of them need access to that. So we have uh, a worker workforce, almost 2,000 people, 2.2 thousand and increasing in artisan and around 2.4 thousand of engineers. All of them need canned food, most of them actually. And uh, as you can see here, right so we have artisans canned food here uh, okay so actually workers don't need canned food but the population calls for it so we have to double down so i have two of them right so here's the farming we have wheat farms potato farms we have cattle and uh, we don't have pig farms in this island we only have sheep and cattle uh, because those are considered dirty and uh, they uh, reduce the overall happiness of the population and some small infrastructure infrastructure here because we have our limestone quarry now a copper mine and down here the zinc mine right all of these are being used to produce uh, brass copper and uh, we're gonna need them to produce glasses for the engineers and everything right so everything is paused you might have seen that already because we have already built in the background uh, it took some time with negative income but now you can pause all of this because you have uh, some uh, in stock and then the city can be self-sustainable and then it can um, work through the uh, stock that you have right so if you click on it here we can see what's in stock and how much and the trends if it's decreasing increasing in what values then let's take an overview right so a lot of these that you see here are not produced in this island so i'm going to take you on a small tour around what i've tried in the other islands and i think it's a good uh, practice and you should try it as well 